My name's Mike Davis and I'm a woodcarver from England and I come from Shropshire. I grew up surrounded by history, ancient castles and churches and you don't have to look too far to find amazing wood carvings. Um, Ludlow in particular is one of my favourite places. I left school at the age of 16 with a passion for wood and woodworking but not really any direction as to how I would pursue it and purely by chance I, I met a, a gentleman who trained in London, Ron Heston, and he was a master carver who was very well respected from London and he'd moved up to Shropshire, was looking for an apprentice. I started whilst I was still in school at the age of 15. When restoring the antiques from the past, first of all we had to learn the style of the period in time from which the antique was from. We also had to learn the style of the carver who created them and to restore them in a way that you couldn't see that they'd been restored. Ron's catchphrase was, perfection is only near enough. It was a wonderful way to learn my trade. So following that apprenticeship period, I then started my own small company making um, specialist one-off pieces of furniture, but I also was asked to teach. And so I took a teaching course and I began teaching as a freelance teacher in various furniture making schools and colleges around England. At around the same time, um, I was asked to write for a woodworking magazine. Uh, we made a series of projects, but I also designed a range of tools and we called it Carving by Numbers. To learn how to carve, you followed the series of stages of projects and you had to buy the set of tools to, to complete the projects. And the series was actually, it really went down well. I think it was the, the magazine's longest running series. Now all of those magazine articles actually got published into a book. My girlfriend at the time, uh, we were both desperate to travel and um, with very little, um, other than I think it was about £3,000 that we'd managed to scrape together and two rucksacks, we set off to the other side of the world, to New Zealand. And it was to be part of a, a world trip, but we ran out of money pretty quick when we got here. And um, we were both very fortunate to find work. And, and we love New Zealand so much that this is the place that we decided to call home. We both wanted to settle here. Well, since then, my work is uh, reasonably well spread across several different areas. So, first of all, commission work, and I'm involved in the restoration of a church in Christchurch, um, and uh, it's St Paul's Trinity Church, um, which has had some really bad luck over the last couple of years. It uh, suffered an arson attack um, about two years ago, which completely gutted the church. And that's when I got involved in helping to restore a memorial wall, which was a finely carved wall within the church. But since then, of course, it's, it's had some further damage, structural damage with the earthquakes. So part of my time is spent on commission work uh, for Heritage New Zealand. Another part, which is taking a significant amount of time at the moment, is writing for those overseas magazines. And we actually produce educational DVDs on how to... Um, learn woodworking with an organisation called learnabout.tv. I teach, I teach at the um, Centre for Fine Woodworking in Nelson and I also produce artworks um, which I produce for various galleries around the world and actually at Waitangi they have got one of my pieces which I believe they're going to auction off um, this Waitangi day.